People have been complaining for a long time about how hard it is to use iTunes to manage their music. Now, I've never had any problems, so let me just show you how it's done, and then you can stop complaining. There's this checkbox called Automatically Sync when this iPhone is connected. So I have an 8 gigabyte iPhone. Every time I plug it in to charge up overnight, it automatically syncs with my computer, and all of my music, all of my videos, all of my photos, everything is automatically synced with my iPhone, so there's absolutely nothing to do. So for the regular user who just plugs it in and is all set, uh, there's nothing to worry about. So it's clearly not them who are complaining. One of the major complaints I hear is that you can't manually drag things onto your iPhone. Um, you have to use the whole Apple Sync thing with the playlists. Well, you'll notice there's also this box called Manually Manage Music and Videos. If you check that, you can just drag things onto your iPhone. So it's not those people who are complaining either. So who is it that does all this complaining about how hard it is to use I iTunes? I suspect it's for people, or it's the people, who have more music than they have space on their phone. So, for example, if you have a 160 gigabyte iPod and you have more than, oh, you know, 40,000 songs, you might not have space for all of it at once. In which case, you have to start deciding what stuff stays in your computer and what stuff stays in your, on your iPod. And that gets a bit complicated, but that's where this middle checkbox comes in. So I have an 8 gigabyte iPhone, which, which uh, and, and I happen to have over 200 gigabytes of stuff, most of it TV shows. So I can't obviously fit it all on my iPhone at once, so how do I manage that? Well, that's where this middle checkbox comes from. It's, it's the key to everything. It says, sync only checked songs and videos. So as long as you have that checked, you're all set. Let me show you how it works. So we come over here to my TV shows. And here, for example, I have all of my Deep Space Nine episodes. And you'll see if they're watched or not with this blue dot. See the, the episode number, the name, the show, the rating, and this nice little description of what it is. Um, and you can see right now I have synced these four episodes, The Tears of the Prophets, Image in the Sand, Take Me Out to the Hollow Suite, um, so on. If I decided I don't want this episode, I just uncheck it. If I don't want any of these, I uncheck those. Maybe I want these ten episodes, or however many that is. I select them all, I hit check selection, and now they're automatically on my iPhone. What could be simpler? Now I go down here, here's my Star Trek Voyager episodes. Or I can stroll down to uh, whatever else I've got. I've got some uh, Eddie Izzard, some Futurama, here's all the Futurama episodes. Maybe I want a Pharaoh to Remember, Godfellas, Future Stock, Leela of Her Own, 30% Iron Chef. All right, boom, they are automatically on my iPhone now. Nothing else needs to be done. Um, I don't see what's so hard about that, but maybe people don't understand that there is a box called Sync Only Checked Songs and Videos. I even have a nice playlist called Checked Videos, which I made for myself, so I can quickly see what episodes I have checked. So I have these Deep Space Nine episodes, I have these Star Trek Voyager episodes, I have these Stargate SG-1 episodes, I have these Sliders episodes, these Ruroni Kenshin episodes, these Futurama episodes, and of course Eddie Izzard. Uh, nothing would be complete without Eddie Izzard. So anyways, I mean, if I decided I don't want Futurama anymore, just select those, uncheck them, and now they go away. Uh, so these... I, I really have no idea who it is that complains about how hard it is to manage music with iTunes. I can't imagine anything easier. Uh, if you want to drag and drop, you can drag and drop by manually doing it, but that's a huge pain in my opinion. So I like to do it automatically and just have it sync whatever's checked. If I don't want it, I uncheck it. If I do want it, I check it. Uh, and that's all there is to it, you know? And you make your playlist, so here's all my one-star songs, all my two-star songs, all my three-star songs, four or five automatically puts the playlist playlists on my iPhone, I'm all set. You'll notice, by the way, that here I have, uh, it says, 39 videos checked on my iPhone, filling up 3.12 gigs. So, you know, I'm a bit more than a third of the way there, but memory-wise, but 39 videos, that's that's 39 hours of TV I can watch on my iPhone right now. Uh, it, that, that's another group of people that complain about how little memory it has, or it doesn't have an SD card. It's got eight gigabytes. Do you really need more
more than 39 hours of videos to watch? I mean, unless you're gone for weeks on end without access to your computer, doing nothing but watch TV all day on your iPhone, you shouldn't have any problems with automatically managing all of your music and videos. Uh, I don't see the problem, but apparently people pay lots of money for third-party software to do things for them, which I think iTunes does just fine. Uh, so anyways, I hope it's as simple as people just not realizing that there was this box called Sync Only Checked Songs and Videos, which, which makes things amazingly easy. So if you don't know about that, you should try it. It works really well. If you do know about it, then you should use it. All right, that's all there is to it.